Hey guys, Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to be putting to the test these two knives. We're going to see how sharp they are and if they're any good. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I've got a couple knives here. Does anyone know where these are from? And no, you don't want a prize if you guess it correctly. But I did hear someone say the Dollar Tree. Of course, those came from the Dollar Tree. Now this one did not. This is one she's had for a long time. I don't know if you can see that. It's a Farberware, which is a good knife. Now, I've already sharpened this knife up because these are already sharp. So I want to make sure. This is a good knife. I use it a lot. Uh, any of the Farberware, we've got a few of these knives. They, they, they come in uh, one of those wooden things they stick down in. Uh, but I've, sh I've sharpened this. I sharpen it, you know, just give it a few whacks on this. And... Uh, before I use it and it's it's always done well these are just made in China there's nothing wrong with China I'm not cutting China down but they they are uh, stainless steel and they are made in China uh, this one is a chef knife and this one uh, I can never pronounce that a Santok Santoku knife a Santoku knife anyway Let's cut up an onion because uh, I'm going to make some uh, tacos for supper tonight. So we're going to need some onion. And I'm also going to uh, mix in some of that onion with some uh, mushrooms we have. Uh, we like mushrooms. But let's go ahead and open this up. And see how they feel. They are pretty. The handle feels a little weird. Feels gritty, grainy. Kind of like sand. But, okay, it is sharp. Alright. Open this one up. And, of course, the handle feels about the same. Handles are about about the same. But you can see the difference. Uh, and I got this knife out here because it's approximately the same size. But all right, I'm gonna get get my onion out here and get it set up. And let's cut it up. Okay, as you can see, I've got this on a uh, baking sheet, cookie sheet, whichever you prefer. And there's a couple different reasons why. It's because the uh, the cutting board is over there underneath the uh, coffee pot, which is no big deal to get it out from under there, but there's another reason why I wanted to use this. I wanted to see as I'm cutting this onion, if I cut down into this, how bad it's going to dull these knives, okay? So first, we're going to try my Farberware. And it's going to let me down. Did I sharpen it? I think I sharpened it. Well, I... Let's try the chef's knife on this side. Very nice. Let's try it on this side since my farberware. Right. I may not have sharpened this, but let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. Like that. And we're going to go ahead 
ahead and peel a couple of these layers off of here. There's all kinds of different ways they say you can do this without crying. Uh, like chew on a piece of bread or, you know, something like that. Okay. So, let's... This is a fiberware. Okay. Now let's do this one. It feels good. I mean, for a buck... Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's see. Right. Let's peel this. Peeling the layers of an onion. The story of my life. Right, guys? You ever heard that saying? All you're doing is peeling the layers off that onion. First time I heard that, I'm like, I was like what the? My dad, I was, it was my dad. I forget what it was about, but he said, son, if you do that, all you're going to do is peel some more layers off that onion. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You ain't peeling no onion. All right. Now, let's cut this in half. Okay, we'll quarter it. I don't like the feel of this one. I feel like it's going to slip and I'm going to cut myself. Now this one, I do like the feel of this one though. I mean, this one feels good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it feels decent. Now, so yeah, I know I'm doing. I'm not doing this onion right. I'm just trying to get different cuts. I've only got one onion and three knives here. So I mean, it, it is just an onion, but it feels good. Now, of course, I'll chop dice this up more later. But, uh, well, it didn't start out good, but the farberware, you know, like I said, it has been a good, good knife. I do keep it sharp. That's why I couldn't believe I didn't sharpen it. I think I did. I just think the other knife is sharper. But it is brand new. So, for a dollar, yeah. I'm good with it for doing stuff like this. I'm good with it. This one here, I don't know, maybe it'd be good for carrots or something, but I don't know. I just don't like the feel of this one. And I'm crying my eyes out over here. Okay, are they worth the box so far? Now, in an upcoming video, of course, I will let you guys know how it's doing. I'll use it for a couple weeks. Use them and see. I mean, it's light. It just, I, I don't like the feel of the handle. I always like the wooden handles. Um, this one's a plastic handle, which I like better than the steel, but my favorite's wooden handles. So, that. All right. So that's just kind of a short review on these two knives. Uh, this one, you know, I'll have to get used to them. But this one here, uh, it's sharp. It's sharp. I just don't like the way it feels. Of course, I'm not used to using knives like this. But it's all right. It is sharp. Of course, I'm just, you know, I'm not a real chef. So, uh, so yeah. I like it, it's, I just don't like the feel of the handles, I thought I would, maybe if they were a little smoother, but they're probably gritty so they don't slip out of your hand, but this one, like, I've got more, let me see if I can show you here, between the 
between the handle there, right between here, I can fit my whole hand there. This one, my knuckles are touching. It's no big deal. I'm not that kind of a complainer, but anyway, so there's the knives. So these two so far are my favorite. So guys, in closing, um, just from cutting up an onion for a buck, yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to take it camping, that way if you lose it or you dull it, it's no big deal. For a dollar, I think any knife, even a dull knife, is better than no knife. So, because you can always sharpen a knife. You can get a rock, you can do it on the bottom of a coffee cup, a ceramic coffee cup, a file. You can always find a way to sharpen a knife. Everybody says, you know, it, 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 yeah, it, it's annoying to have to sharpen your knife a lot. But in a survival situation, this is better than this. Follow me? Because you can always find a way to sharpen this. This does not always cut without this. So, yeah, the Farberware is still my favorite. But like I said, I'll, I'll get back with you guys in an upcoming video. I'll do a video on some of the reviews that I have done in the past. And we'll do an update on how they're doing. And we'll see my thoughts on them then. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, don't forget to, you know, hit the thumbs up button, uh, share the videos, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out Patreon. And I'm going to say, Chef Shea Bear, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.